Hey, welcome back to Soda Time Restoration. As you see, we're getting ready to start the lettering process on the Vendo 39. We've got the drink Coca-Cola and the ice cold at the bottom. Uh, stay with us. I'm going to grab a few things. I'll be right back here. Well, welcome back. We've got uh, probably a little bit of a, uh, this might go kind of long, but I think it's some detail that you need to see uh, on putting the lettering on. We're going to take this vinyl lettering, we're going to place it over our prepared white. Uh, I did leave that set overnight. I started thinking about it. I could probably have done it a little quicker, but I thought I'd give this white base coat time to set up. So when I do pull that vinyl off after I put my red on uh, base coat, I didn't want to have anything peeling off. So I've never rushed it. So I've always waited a night, uh, usually the next next day, usually. So we'll get started with that. I'm going to give you a quick tour of what we shot last night on the Vendo 39. Did really good. Uh, the Vendo 39 is just coming along great. I will still buff this. But man, it just, the clear coat was great. At times I have uh, a little bit of issues with maybe a fly or a gnat, but I think I had one little spot that a gnat tried to get me, but... Uh, there's the coin door. Show you the back side here. As you see, I left that January 1951 date. I just left it just like they they had it and uh, clear coated over that to protect it to keep it. But try to uh, keep the history of this machine going. But uh, looking good for a 1951. But Tonight, we're going to work on this project. We're going to get the lettering going. Give you uh, some ideas on, on uh, how I do it. I know some people will get on there and say, well, I just pay somebody or I, I do my own lettering. I've done it several ways. This one just seems to be the best for me, the cleanest. And uh, when I get done, it looks just beautiful you're not going to take the the whole decal and you're going to put it all in one down in one shot not going to happen uh, you're going to separate some things and typically first thing i'm going to cut out i'm going to cut out this drink coca-cola base coat in general it's very soft, uh, it can scratch real easily, but you can touch it up really, really easy. So if you do mess something up, uh, you can get that back on there, not too bad. Uh, but I always try to lay it on there first, see how things are looking. If you get one down and you're just having a lot of trouble getting it straightened up, Sometimes they say use water. I've never used water. And it's like we're going to be peeling this stuff back off anyway. So if it goes down easier for you with water, and I get it that you can move it around. We can get a step down part. Hold on just a little too quickly here. Go for it again here. I may start with this K and come backwards. And you can always lay it down. Just don't get it down there hard. And try to see where your ledge ed edge is at. It feels decent, so I'm going to go ahead and apply some pressure.
And this D right in here is the ledge and it's coming out a little bit farther. So as you see, I've pulled this back. I've still got a little bit of my vinyl still left. So that's what I'm going to pull back right now. A little snip here. There we go. Okay, it looks like it's coming up. I don't want to tear anything right now. I don't want to lose my other one. So that's coming up good. So roll it with the lettering. Keep it coming. It'll come up. Just don't pull on it. All right, we saved our D. We're going to scoot it over just a little bit. And now let's come around. Oh, much better. Much better. So let's see how everything peels off now. Remember, your base coat's very soft. So try not to dig your fingernail in. All right, let's go on to the next one. I like doing the C by itself. And then we'll do the Oka then by itself. We'll do the dot by itself. Uh, once again, this C, I think I'll do, and then we'll do those in a separate piece. So we're going to cut out the C here. See is down. Make sure you do remember to take this outer covering off, or it's not going to look very good. <laughs> You've got to pull this outer covering off, have just the vinyl showing, like we have right now on this D. That, uh, so we'll do the Oka right now. So, your vision's like mine. Get your flashlight out before you press that thing down. You can see how you're hitting. Feels really good though. All right. So go over everything one last time, each letter, get it all the way down. If you peel something up and it tries to come up, stay with it, get it back down. I'm going to say pull it in an angle, get everything at the end. But I hope you can see exactly when we come back, we will uh, probably be put, putting the, the red base coat down. And after the red base coat, we'll go to the peeling these back off and then we'll clear. If you like what you're seeing, uh, it slows the process down to do one of these video series. I had no idea, but you know, it's been fun. I've been enjoying it. Uh, I think we're up to oh, definitely over 70 subscribers and that's just, I didn't think I'd have five, <laughs> but, uh, thanks a lot. And, uh,
we'll try to uh, get back uh, tomorrow evening. Uh, we'll be we'll get the rest of this down, and tomorrow evening we'll we'll uh, hopefully be putting some base down. As soon as that base coat dries, I'm going to be peeling these vinyls off, and you're going to see everything that how clean it's going to look. We've got the vinyl down on the embossing. Tonight I'm going to work on getting all the this sealer re-scuffed and ready to shoot the red on. So typically when you shoot a sealer down, and we did, uh, you got a little bit of a window before you can that you can put stuff on it. So uh, anything between uh, getting the base coat on, you got a, a window there. Probably on this particular, probably about six hours. So we're going to scuff it get it ready for its next coating and uh, we'll get the red on we'll pull the the lettering uh, vinyls off and hopefully hopefully we'll uh, I don't know if we'll get it done tonight but uh, the goal is is uh, to get some clear on this so right now I'm going to do a little bit of scuffing and if you've ever scuffed sealer before it doesn't scuff very good dry. It wants to kind of ball up. It is not, it doesn't like it. it. Doesn't like it all. So you can just go around the edges. This base coat will be fine. We'll have to wipe everything down doing it this way, but that's fine. But get it all scuffed. It won't take long to scuff everything down. top of everything. Give one last little hit. I want this as smooth as possible. Give me a little bit. I'm going to mix up some paint and I'll be right back.
Hey, welcome back to Soda Time Restoration. We're back on the Vendo 39. If you're waiting for that video of when we pull the vinyl off, this will be the time we just got the base coat I let set on there overnight. We're going to start with uh, how to remove it. It's not too difficult. It's a little bit hard to get it started. If you're using base coat, very important that you're shooting base coat over the top of your decal. If you try to clear coat it and do this, that clear coat gets so hard you probably won't get your vinyl off. If you do, you'll probably have a mess on your hands. So make sure you put that red down, or excuse me, put the white down first if you're going to have white lettering. Your next step then after that white is get your vinyl on, then coat everything red coat everything, go over the vinyl, shoot it just like you normally would shoot it, leave it in base coat, do not put the clear on. Once that base coat gets dry, I would say give it a day, let it set a day, then pull your vinyl off. That's what we're going to do now, so hang on here, we'll see what uh, how this turns out. Uh, it's always kind of neat to see the process. I'm going to get the camera a little bit closer. That's a pretty good shot right there. So get you a corner started. Sometimes you have to roll it with your finger a little bit and then peel back your vinyl. I know a lot of people have asked me, why don't you just leave the vinyl on there, do it at the end. This gives it probably the best edging, uh, the best look. It looks like it's painted on there. And I know I'll get those comments. Oh, why didn't you just paint that on there? Well, I can't do the lettering. I've done it. I've done the sand through. Uh, I even have a video on my Facebook page, I believe, of a year or two ago. And I did all my machines that way until this year. Actually, in this last year. I need somebody with some fingernails. No trick to peeling it off. You can pull it in an angle if you want. Try to keep it from tearing is the big thing right there. I have kind of tore off a piece. I like to keep it all in one shot. Get that edge started. Once you get that edge started, and I probably on this one, um, I usually like taking it off a little quicker. I've actually had probably an extra day on this one, so it's always kind of nice to get it off probably the same day, uh, excuse me, the next day, not two days down the road, but it seems to come off all right once you get going. The, the other ones I've done that I waited just a day it peeled off a little bit cleaner. So this is a little bit uh, of just some pieces, but still not too bad. I mean, you just take your time with it. Don't get in a rush. The results are incredible. Show you how this is peeling here a little bit tighter now. Get it down on there a little tighter. Literally just pulling it off. Keep it tight. Try to follow along. Pulling back on it. A little closer look there of what how that looks. you get it up it works pretty good it's just getting it up it's not the, getting that edge pulled up the toughest piece I've got a Vendo 81 that we're going to be doing the same process on 
and uh, I'll reach. I'll probably be doing the, obviously uh, the lettering on it. I'll change it to where I pull the vinyl off a little quicker, and we'll just see if that makes a big difference. That'll be something uh, I have to let everybody know that hey, don't let that dry too long. So, Coca-Cola's off. Go on to the drink. Get over here and look to the end bottles. Well, there we go. Didn't peel off like I wanted it to. Uh, first time I've ever had one peel in pieces like that. So we will see when we do the Vendo 81. Got about the same size logo. We're going to only let it set one day instead of two. And uh, see if that. If that changes our world, we're gonna, we're gonna continue. We're gonna do this ice cold down here. Uh, wasn't the best peel off, but uh, it definitely shows. Don't wait two days. <laughs> Let's take a little bit of look at it here. There's the ice cold. The drink Coca Cola. I'll probably uh, come back and uh, we'll show the touch-ups, how to do the touch-ups. If you like, like the help on uh, what you're seeing here, you know, put a comment in there. I know it wasn't very impressive tonight with uh, the way it's coming off in pieces, as you can see. But uh, stay with us and uh, hit that subscribe button. The case is already painted. Got it wrapped up here. Uh, we won't be doing the, the buff, buff on it. Hopefully, uh, we'll, we'll start putting this thing back together. But uh, hang on with us. We're going to be doing the touch-up on this stuff and how to do it uh, on our next video. Thanks a lot.